to attempt to replace the amplifier on my SVS subwoofer. This is a PB1000, I think. Yeah, PB1000. And not too long ago, um, started the sub started making a funny clicking sound. So I contacted SVS and they said, send us the order number and the serial number and we'll take care of it. And I was thinking, well, what if, uh, what if this thing's out of warranty? But from the sound of it, it sounded like they were gonna take care of it no matter what. But uh, I can't say for sure, as it turns out, this sub is still under warranty. They sent me some replacement screws. Isn't that nice? Then they, of course, sent me the new amplifier. Here it is. I'm going to need to get those instructions out. I got them in an email here. It says I'm going to need a one millimeter hex bit which they provided me right here, one millimeter hex bit. And I need a handheld or a power bit driver. Let me go grab that. Perfect, okay, there we go. So now it says, turn off the hard rocker power switch. Okay. Disconnect the power cord, disconnect the input signal cable. Well, I already did that. There was the power cord and the uh, signal cable was in here, okay. Now, I gotta remove the 12 three millimeter hex bit amplifier screws with the provided bit. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna finish taking these out quite yet. I'm gonna read the next step. Partially remove the amplifier from the enclosure. This is step three. Noting the precaution in step four below. If the amplifier seems stuck in the cabinet, you may open a set of speaker level connections and use them as handles. Oh. They're saying you can use these as, as handles if you need to, to pull this thing out. Okay, well that's nice. And then four says be very careful not to yank the lead wires, that's underlined, when partially removing the amplifier from the cabinet. There are three lead wires connected to the amplifier and one of the wires doesn't have much slack and can easily be damaged if yanked. removing this. Okay. So here are two of the lead wires right here. The third, I believe, is right down here. Step five, disconnect the two woofer output headers and the one smaller LED header. This style of connector uses a release tab. Squeeze it and pull on the connector and it will release from the amplifier board. You may note a small dab of adhesive between the connector and the board. This will break free if you squeeze the release tab and pull firmly. So let's try to get these off here. First. I'm supposed to squeeze the tab and pull. Okay, that popped right off. And then this one, the other ones had obvious release tabs. Yeah, this one does not. I just don't see the release tab. I'm trying to push up on the bottom here. See if I can, there we go. Interestingly enough, I don't think there's a release tab on there, folks. I really don't see a release tab. It just looks like it pulls straight out. I now have it off. And I don't believe I've damaged anything, which is great. The amplifier may now be removed from the cabinet. Yeah, I already did that. The three lead wires should now be loose and ready to connect to the new replacement amplifier referred to image five below. Supporting the new replacement amplifier as needed, reconnect the two woofer output headers and the one LED output header. I mean, this almost seems too easy. You know, they were not totally truthful when they said there's not much slack. There's quite a bit of slack on this guy. So it's gonna go back in the same way I pulled it out. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, probably not, but it's gonna go right back in there. And I'm just gonna use this to push it back in. Okay, that's in. Got it. So that was easy. So we'll go ahead and throw this back in there. I don't even see why I need to use the new screws. I'm just gonna use the old ones. Now, SVS does want this back, so I'm gonna have to send that back to them. 
And they did send me a shipping label and all that, so no worries there. So let's go ahead and take this sucker back upstairs and see if it works. I wonder about the power cable does not fit in very well. And don't laugh at my subwoofer cable. Kinda nothing. But someday I'm gonna get a nicer one. So now I'll flip it on. Lo and behold, no clicking. All right, let's see if it works. You know he's not gonna be happy. No, I suspect he won't. A process that isolated one species from another. Well, we need something exciting to happen here so we can have some music. This is the most boring episode of our planet I've ever seen. Come on, I cannot find any exciting music whatsoever. And out of sight doesn't mean out of mind. Impala have acute hearing and a superb sense of smell. <laughs> okay, believe it or not, I've heard this movie has some great bass. So let's see how the sub is performing. If it's working, check it out. Let's crank up the volume a little bit here. Oh yeah. Shaking the floor, baby. Hello? Patty, I don't have much time. Daddy? Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Something's come up at work, honey. Daddy's not gonna be home for a while. Boom, the room is shaking. You can't go back I love to the it. House, Patty. Okay? What's happening? It's alright. You won't be alone. You have both. I can confirm we have base. Okay, so there you have it. The subwoofer is put back together. The new amplifier is sounding amazing, shaking the room like it used to. And uh, we're back in business.